In this video we're going to define an identity matrix and inverse matrices and we'll indicate why they're important. So first we're just going to define what an identity matrix is. It's an n by n matrix. So notice that's a, that's a square matrix because the amount of rows and the amount of columns are the same. So you can only have an identity matrix if the number of rows and the number of columns are the same. Um, with ones spanning from upper left to lower right Uh, and zeros everywhere else. So that is the definition of an identity matrix, and we'll talk about why it gets that name, but let me give you a few examples first. Um, <clears throat> here is an identity matrix, and we use the, the letter I. So if you ever see a matrix called I, it's the identity matrix. So in a 2 by 2 matrix that I have right here, the identity matrix has 1's going from upper left to lower right, and zeros everywhere else. <clears throat> So there's the identity matrix uh, for a two by two for the two by two family of matrices, and because it's it's a two, uh, a two by two, it often gets a little subscript. So if I say I sub two, you know I'm talking about this exact matrix that's that's written here, uh, and I three would be a three by three. It has one spanning down the diagonals from upper left to lower right and zeros everywhere else. <clears throat> Alright, so now let's talk about why they're important. Uh, they're important because they act like so they act like the number one Uh, in the real number system. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, if you take um, if you take three, you know, take three or any number <clears throat> and multiply up times one, you just get three, right? Or or whatever number you start with, right? And one times three is also three. So. One in the, in our number system is called uh, is called the multiplicative identity. So one is called the multiplicative identity because when you multiply by it, it doesn't change. It doesn't change the 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 answer, right? You multiply times any number. You multiply any number times one, and it's just going to give you one again. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just going to give you that number again. Mess that up. Identity. So that's what. So that's why one is so special, or one of the reasons one is so special in that number system. So let me show you. Uh, let me show you that this is true. For example, let's multiply any matrix about uh, two, three, four, five. We're going to do matrix multiplication on the uh, with the identity matrix. Okay, so now, just a re quick review, this is a 2 by 2, and so is this. So the multiplication can take place because these are the same, and our result is going to be that 2 by 2, is going to also be a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'll just kind of dash in where they'll be. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to write out the calculations, I'm going to trust that you could probably do this. 
but I will talk you through it. So to, multi to get the upper left hand entry, we do row 1 of the left hand matrix times column 1 of the first, 2 times 1 plus 3 times 0 gives me a 2, and then 2 times 0 plus 3 times 1 gives me a 3, 4 times 1 plus 5 times 0 gives me a 4, and 4 times 0 plus 5 times 1 gives me a 5. So you'll see that by multiplying our matrix times the identity, we just got that same matrix back again, right? So that's why the identity matrix acts like the number 1. Um, let's do what if it what if it doesn't work in the reverse? So let's actually try the other way, because it has to work in both directions. Let's put the identity first, and then two, three, four, and five, and see what we get. So one times two plus zero times four gives you uh, 2. 1 times 3 1 times 3 plus 0 times 5 is 3. 0 times 2 plus 1 times 4 gives you a 4. And 0 times 3 plus 1 times 5 gives you a 5. So again, we multiply times the identity and it just returned the same answer. So the identity matrix acts like the number one in our, uh, like the number one in our real number system.